Hello online viewers, welcome to our lecture video. In this lecture video, we will be calculating the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram of this loaded uh, beam. So before uh, so before uh, jumping into this lecture video, I would like to uh, I would like all of you to check our previous video on shear force diagram and bending moment uh, diagram, which link you can find in the description box below. In that video, I have explained all the sign convention involved and all the basics uh, and uh, and all the and all the basics involved in order to calculate shear force diagram and bending moment diagram of the of the uh, 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 diagram of the beam so if you check that video it will be really easy for you so let's just dive into this lecture now so now so so uh, so as i explained in the previous video so our, our first uh, our first step in calculating the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram is we need to remove this support reaction so as you can see in this beam we have two point loads each of 10 kilo newton acting uh, acting on this beam and we have uh, our roller support and hinge support so first what we will be doing is we will be, remo we'll be removing uh, both the supports and, and, and uh, both the supports and in order to remove the supports, we will be providing the reaction forces. This is going to be Ra, this is going to be Rb, Rb, and and we will have our, we will plot our 10 kN and again 10 kN. So our first step is going to be plot is, is going to be plot all the forces uh, all, all the forces acting on the acting on the beam. And so first we will apply the condition of equilibrium. Uh, condition of equilibrium. So uh, so as we know here. So as you can see here, the body is uh, here. This beam is in equilibrium. So first, we will apply the condition of equilibrium. And for the condition of equilibrium, uh, equilibrium, what we will do is we will uh, we will uh, equalize E F Y equals to zero. So uh, so following our sign convention, we have we have uh, uh, so in this uh, so as you can see here, for this uh, beam, we are going to move, we are going to be move we are going to move from left hand portion of the beam to the right hand portion of the beam. So left to right. So following our uh, so as following our sign convention uh, sign sign convention, we are going to take upward load as positive. So this is going to be there are two upward load R A and R B. R A plus R B equals to ten plus ten. So as you can see this equals to ra plus rb equals to 20 kN. this is going to be our first uh, this is going to be our first equation so as we are moving from left to right we are moving from left to right so next what we are going to take is we are going to take moment about b and we are going to equate it to zero so we are taking clockwise moment as positive e moment about b equals to zero so following our sign convention as we are moving from left to right uh, clockwise moment is going to be zero and we are going to uh, we are uh, we are going to uh, and and we are going to take moment about b equals to zero so so let me take this first force of 10 kN. so as you can see compared with the force b you need to look at 10 kN force and look at force b no don't look at any other forces just look at 10 kN forces uh, 10 kN force at first and as you can see with respect to b 10 kN tries to bend the beam downward in this direction which is anti clockwise direction which is uh, which is anti clockwise direction uh, and uh, and right now we are taking clockwise moment as uh, positive so anti clockwise moment is going to be negative so we are going to uh, do minus 10 into 1.5 minus 10 into 1.5 plus similarly for this 10 kN with respect to with respect to point b it tries to bend the beam in anti clockwise direction same logic as for this 10 kN bottom distance has increased has increased 2 plus 1.5 which is 3.5 so what we do next is minus 10 into 3.5 plus now we have our final force ra reaction a but uh, reaction a uh, reaction a so as you can see uh, unlike twin unlike both of these thing newton forces ra uh, tends to be, uh, tends to bend the tends to bend the beam upward which is clockwise direction so with respect to point b ra tends to uh, ra tends to bend the beam upward which is clockwise direction and as you have taken clockwise direction uh, clockwise moment as positive we have to calculate ra as positive into distances 1.5 plus 2 plus 1.5 1.5 plus 1.5 1.5 is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 so solving this we get uh, minus 150 minus 350 plus ra into 5 equals to 0 and, uh, and uh, solving this you get ra sorry this is 15 this is 15 this is 35 minus 15 minus 35 plus ra into 5 equals to 0 and we, and, and we get ra equals to 10 kN. so substitute this value over here you get rb equals to 10 rb equals to 10 kN. So our first step has been completed. We have equated all the forces and we have calculated and, and, and we have uh, calculated our reaction forces. So Ra equals to 10 kN. Similarly, Rb equals to 10 kN. 
so now our, our next uh, pro step is going to be calculate the shear force uh, it's going to be calculate the shear force diagram and is, is to calculate the shear force and draw the shear force diagram so in order to calculate the shear force so firstly we'll, we are going to move from left to right we're going to calculate shear force at a so as i uh, shear force at a so as i have already explained uh, explained in the previous video shear force is the algebraic sum of algebraic sum of forces acting either on the left or on the right so as we are, as we are as we are, as we are moving from left to right we are going to take algebraic forces acting on the left side of the beam so as you can see there are no any forces acting on the left side of the beam so shear force at a equals to 0 kN 0 kilo newtons zero kilo newton so, uh, sorry 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 shear force uh, at left of a equals to zero kilo newton equals to zero kilo newton but shear force at a so as you can see shear force at left of a there is no any forces so there is going to be zero kN but shear force at a if you see exactly at a there is 10 kN forces there is 10 kN force uh, force acting on the beam which tends to uh, push the beam upward which tends to ten which tends to uh, which tends to push the beam upward and as we are moving from left to right we take upward forces as positive so we take upward forces as uh, as positive so shear force at a equals to plus 10 kN so as I was previously explaining, I was explaining the left of A. I did say at A, but I was saying at left of A. So shear force at A, at exactly at A is 10 kN. So shear force at C. Shear force at A. So let me draw the figure and explain it. It will be easier for you. So draw this horizontal member first. So as I said, right at A, we have 10 kN. We have 10 kN. And as I've already explained before, uh, the shear force remains constant between constant between uh, constant between two uniform distributed loads. So as you can see, between point A and C, there are no any other loads being involved. So this uh, shear force remains constant. 10 kN. It remains constant until it reaches point C. So before reaching point C, just before reaching point C, the shear force is 10 kN. But as soon as it reaches a shear force at C, this there is a 10 kN force acting downward. So 10 kilo newton minus 10 kilo newton equals to zero the so shear force exactly so at so at c the shear force becomes zero at c at c it becomes at because it becomes zero and as we move along and as we move along until we point the is d with the same logic since no any other forces are involved between c and d the shear force remains constant shear force remains constant until we shear force remains constant until we reach point d it remains constant it remains constant just before reaching a d or just at the left of after d it is zero kN. but as soon as we reach point d shear force at d equals to zero kilo newton minus 10 kN. as you can see there is a force of 10 kN acting uh, at d which pushes it downward so as we just move at d at exactly at point e we have shear force of minus 10 kilo newton so so as we move uh, forward shear force at d equals to so with the same logic since there are no other forces being involved the shear force remains constant remains constant until we uh, are just at left of b just at left of b it is minus 10 kN only but just as we reach uh, reach b it becomes 0 kN it becomes 0 kN as there is a force of 10 kN reaction force acting upward so so shear force at d equals to minus 10 kN so as we move at b it is minus 10 kN plus 10 kN which is equals to 0 kN this equals to 0 kN and in this way your shear force diagram has been drawn the shear force diagram is done this is your shear force this is your shear force diagram so at the now at the now uh, now at finally we will be calculating our bending moment bending moment so for uh, for our bending moment also we'll be moving from we'll, we'll be moving from left to right section of the uh, left to right section of the beam only so in order to calculate our bending moment what what we'll, what we'll be doing is we'll be taking our section we will be taking a section at a distance taking a uh, taking a section at a distance x from the from the end a as we are moving from left to right, we will be taking a certain section, yes, uh, certain, uh, certain, uh, certain section at a distance x from end A, from, uh, from end A, 
from uh, from end A and and we'll consider and considering forces considering force on the left side and we we'll, we'll consider force on the left side we'll take a certain section x and we'll, and we'll consider all the forces on the left side so firstly so firstly let me plot let me just draw all these imaginary lines it will be easier for us to draw our bending moment diagram so so firstly we'll have to take bending moment between a and c bending moment between a and c bending moment between a and c so firstly we'll take bending moment between a uh, bending moment between a and c so firstly we'll draw our beam and here is our reaction force r a we'll take a certain distance at i x we'll section we'll take section in such a way that it doesn't reach c it needs to be between a and c and similarly we'll take clockwise moment as positive mx so after doing this what we'll be doing is we'll we calculate our bending moment in such a way that e m x so as i say we'll be taking constraining forces on left side of the so constraining force on the left side so on the uh, on the left side we have only one force ra which tends to which tends to bend the beam upward so with respect to this position as you can see it tends to bend the beam upward which is clockwise direction so we'll be taking it uh, we'll be taking this as positive uh, so it is equals to ra into x as we have our value of uh, ra as 10 is equals to 10x kilo newton meter 10x kilo newton uh, 10x kilo newton uh, mirror uh, 10 10 uh, 10 x kilo newton meter now uh, what we need to do is in order to calculate our bending moment at a and c we need to change uh, change this value of x so as you can see at a exactly at a at a x equals to 0 meter so emx equals to 0 kilo newton meter so as we move more to the right the value of x increases so at uh, when we reach at c at c x equals to 1.5 meters so emx equals to uh, 10 into 1.5 which is equals to 15 kilonewton meter 15 kilonewton meter so we are done with this now we'll be taking a certain section between c and d now we're taking a section between a and c now we'll take between c and d so similarly we'll take bending moment between c and d bending moment between a uh, bending moment a uh, bending moment between c and d so now similarly uh, as we have done here we'll do the same we'll draw a certain section which is added distance which is added distance x So here is point C. We haven't yet reached. Uh, here is point D. We haven't yet reached point D, but we are somewhere in between, and we will uh, write down all the forces being involved. R A A. Here is 10 kilo newton, and here is a force of 1.5. So as you can see, uh, if this is uh, if if the total distance is x, and this and this much distance is 1.5, we are just plotting the distance. Then this remaining distance is equal to x minus 1.5 so using the same logic what we'll do is we'll be calculating moment we'll take clockwise moment as 0 emx equals to so let's see all the moments all the moments being involved so as you can see with this portion firstly we have ra which value is 10 which is 10x same logic clockwise and as you can see 10 kilo newton is adding in opposite is adding in anti-clockwise direction it tends to bend the beam in anti-clockwise direction so we'll, we'll put minus 10 x minus 1.5 which is 10x minus 10x plus 15 so we get 15 kilo newton meter 15 uh, we, we get we get 15 kilo newton uh, meter so uh, 15 kilo newton uh, meter so bending moment uh, so bending uh, bending moment between c and d remains constant which is 15 kilo newton meter bending moment at d is 15 kilo newton meter so as you got bending moment at a 0 bending moment at c 15 so bending moment at d is also 15 which means the bending moment remains constant there is a uh, minimum constant no any change now at the last we'll be calculating a uh, bending moment between d and b. bending moment between d and b so i'll be doing it over here only bending moment between d and b so using the same logic we'll uh, we'll we'll, we'll uh, we will increase our uh, x value we'll increase our x value so 
we have one eight reach at we have one eight reach point B, but we have reached somewhere between D and B, which is at a distance of x. Which is at a distance of x from point A. Mark your point A, x, and mark your all the remaining points this way. This is one point five. We have your point load of ten kilo newton. You have your R A acting over here. Similarly, you move on to two meter. And you can uh, you need to subtract your distance. This distance is equal to x minus two plus one point five is three point five. So this time, so this distance must be x minus three point five. You have one more load this time acting of ten kilo newton. So what you can uh, so I have a uh, so I have a easier uh, easier hack for you. So what you can uh, do is in order to calculate your bending moment quickly, what you can do is you can either calculate all your forces similarly. Then uh, you can do or uh, you can do is uh, what you can do is. Uh, you can do is um you need to you can move from uh, left to right or right to left you can do you can move from left to right and put on all your forces like uh, R A into X minus ten into uh, minus uh, minus ten into something you can do all those you can do all those or 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 in a shortcut form what you can do is you can take these forces take, take copy these forces copy these forces. Copy these forces simply. Complete, uh, co uh, copy this force between C and D, and uh, you have one extra force of 10 kilo newton. Just, uh, just uh, analyze it now. And, and in order to analyze it, so what you have, what you need to do is just copy those forces. Copy those uh, force between bending moment between C and D. Now just, uh, now just add your extra 10. Uh, now just analyze your extra 10 kilo newton force. With with respect to this, it tends to bend the beam downward and clockwise direction. So you need to subtract it. Minus 10, x minus 3.5. So this is a simple hack. Uh, no, uh, this is a simple hack. It is really simple. What I have basically done is I have just uh, I have just copied this formula. Copied not not copied the formula. Just copied the previous bending moments. Just copied the previous bending moment and added uh, and analyzed this extra bending moment. It will be easier for you. You could do the same. Otherwise, you can just look at this point. It is pushing upward, downward. Subtract those distances. But uh, this way it will be uh, easier and quicker for you. So uh, on doing this, we get a uh, minus 10x plus. 50. So you have calculated bending moment at A also. Bending moment at uh, A has been done. Bending moment at C has been done. Bending moment at D also has, has been done. Now we need now we need bending moment at B. At B. So for your bending moment at uh, and at at B, x uh, you took uh, have your x value which is 2 plus 1 uh, 1.5 plus 2 plus 1.5 which means x equals to 5 meter. And and for your uh, and for your beam to be in equilibrium, your uh, your bending moment must be zero. Your bending moment must at inside zero, which is minus fifty plus fifty equals to zero kilo newton meter. Zero kilo newton meter. So we have we have calculated all your values. Now what you need to do is just you need to plot your bending moment. You need to plot your bending moment a diagram. So in order to plot your bending moment diagram, uh, so I might plot it over here only. Firstly, draw your horizontal line, straight horizontal line. So as you can see, your bending moment at A is zero. Your bending moment begins over here. With your, your bending moment begins over here. With bending moment at A equals to zero, then it increases. Uh, then it then at point C. At point C, this is your point. Uh, this is your point C. This is directly beyond your below your point C. At your point C, your bending moment is 15 kN meter. 15 kN meter. Uh, and uh, at point D, it remains constant. It remains constant. 15 kN meter only. Uh, 15 kN meter only. And it uh, decreases at zero. So as I have already explained in my previous uh, previous video, that uh, shear force remains constant. Shear force remains constant between your between uh, your uniformly distributed load. If there are if there are no any other loads being involved, whereas your bending moment increases linearly. If there are no any other loads, uh, other any other loads being involved in the middle. Since there are no any other loads being involved, your bending moment increases linearly. So in this condition, uh, your bending moment has remained constant, and finally it decreases linearly. This is your bending moment diagram. So in this way, we have calculated our shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. This is your shear force diagram, yes, FD. This is your bending moment diagram, BMD. In your uh, in your exam, you need to you need to draw this, this, and this, and this. This is just for your rough proposal. You can put it 
put it somewhere else put it somewhere uh, somewhere else just for your easiness so in this way taking certain sections from left to right and following those following those uh, following those certain sign conventions we have calculated we have calculated our shear force diagram and bending moment diagram so this is our second video uh, this is our second video in our playlist of analysis of beam we will be posting uh, posting more uh, more uh, more videos regarding uh, regarding the shear force diagram and bending moment uh, diagram of the beam if you like the video do subscribe the channel uh, for uh, subscribe the channel and for your pdf notes of uh, pdf notes of solving this uh, solving all these questions i will be posting it on my instagram page and if you have any queries related to this video uh, you can comment down below i'll try to answer them as as fast as possible thank you